boy, don't play boy, you 21. I was 15 shopping for them chains, but really as a gin and diaper, some shit happened. Nikolai Kapusti, the composer there, made me wonder what he looked like because his music was different. I think he's one of the few composers that I haven't listened to a lot of his pieces, but I am 100% sure that he's one of my favorite composers. It, it is like that. Some composers just have it, some some don't. And Kapustin has it. So I'm sorry, y'all. It's, it's not my fault. So ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you back to another reaction. We are reacting to Nikolai Kapustin. Eight Concert Etudes, Opus 40. Never heard of this piece. Looking forward to it. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoy the reaction. Lego. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even say anything, but I'm glad I'm listening to this. I'm glad. He's just different.
That was beautiful. That was beautiful. It was sound really jazzy romantic. That's how I can describe that one. This one might be my favorite up until now. Oh man, this man is so different.
I don't know. Before we start the fortitude, I don't know how he does that with the fortitude. Like, it sounds romantic, but, it's, but at the same time, it sounds really rushed. And I don't know how he makes it sound good because because normally when I think about something romantic, it's kind of slow paced, you know, just soothing, warm. And this one, it sounds, you know, it's fast, but sounds romantic at the same time. And it sounds good. And yeah, I don't know how he does that, but really, really impressive. <laughs> I changed my mind. That one is my favorite. I'm sorry.
That one was really good too. Just, just, just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Stop it. Ah. I don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't even know what to tell y'all. I can tell y'all my favorite. So, three, five, seven, and eight. Um, they really stuck with me. So if I should ever listen to this um, concert or two again, then I would definitely listen to those once again. But they were all good. Just those those really stood out to me. And somebody needs to send me like a video of uh, a, docu a documentary about Kapustin because I really, really want to know what kind of man he was. Like, how did he become the composer that he was he's goaded like he's just different i don't it's it's really difficult to explain because compared to all the composers that i've listened to up until now he's the most different one and i don't know i don't know and and i also love the fact that the classical family really really loves him and i understand it's it's understandable because he's he's just different and Whenever I react to a piece from him, it's guaranteed to put a smile on my face and I'm guaranteed to move my head and just admire the piece that I'm listening to. But yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for requesting this. I really needed this. And Classical Fam, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please let me know down in the comments what y'all think about this. And, and yeah, it's been your boy Giddy. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to catch you on the next video.